quick comparison of the Voigtlander 40 millimeter f1.2 versus the 35 millimeter f2 lens for Nikon Z mount. In a nutshell, the Voigtlander 35 millimeter f2 Lanthar is the more optically performant lens. It really is basically a Summicron, like a Summicron. Uh, I think that if you had a Z mount like a Summicron F2, you would be hard pressed to see the difference between the 35 millimeter F2 Lanthar and the Summicron. They have the same kind of busy bouquet, uh, super deep contrast, um, just an excellent performing lens. However, if you wanted that blurry, dreamy look, you may want to look at the 40 millimeter F1.2. It really gives that in spades and it sharpens up pretty nicely uh, by F5.6. Although it's like, it's still not as nice and as optically perfect as the Apo Lanthar F2. Also, I would say F1.2 on the 40 millimeter is almost unusable in a lot of situations. It's so blurry and it has that sort of filmy, uh, old film camera, uh, uh, um, sort of like haze on the image because it's so wide open and the contrast is so blown out. So you really have to stop down to about 1.4, 1.8 before it becomes usable in a lot of uh, circumstances, but you do get that swirly bouquet, that sort of dreamy look. Um, so if that's more what you're after, plus a lens that's sharp when stopped down, the f1.2 might be a better lens. If you want just optical performance, not as worried about the bouquet and the dreaminess of the lens, the f2 is the way to go. For me, I'm going to keep the f2 because I already have the Leica Noctilux 50.95, f.95, and that gives me that dreamy look, and it's just a lot better without that filmy sort of contrast blown out uh, uh, look that you get with the, the Voigtlander 40 millimeter lens. Here's a few image samples so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was helpful comparing these two lenses. Let me know what you think about the two in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you in the next one.